<laughs> a little Trevi, uh, Trevi Trevally. So, yeah, it's not real big, but it's my first one on the new rod. Shit, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, I might have to. Whoa, no, me bag. Oh, shit. Stop it, caller. Shit. All right, I better get this one back in the water and see if I can get another one. Happy days. Well, the water's going in again. All right. Guys, uh, I am now at uh, Ballara Station. It's oh, I don't know how many k south of um, Exmouth it is, but it's not far down Burkett Road. I think it's about six k's from down Burkett Road from the turnoff uh, to go back to the Northwest Coastal Highway um, as you head south from Exmouth. Um, yeah, great little spot. I've got um, a, a non-powered site for tonight. I, I don't need electricity tonight. I've got the chargers there. They're going to charge the phone. They're going to charge up the GoPro. Um, yeah, so. As you saw before, I did catch that one, uh, that, that little Trevally before. I caught a few more. Um, I did throw that, that first one back. He was just a little bit too small. I uh, caught about, what did I catch? catch I caught four Trevally today, um, and that was about it. I was really trying to get the, um, the Spangled Emperor. Just didn't happen for me today. That's cool. Tomorrow night I'll be in Coral Bay for the next few nights. Um, so on the way to Coral Bay, I'm gonna stop off at a few little fishing spots and try my luck again. Uh, yeah, so yeah, the, the fishing fishing rod and the, well, the replacement fishing rod that is, uh, went quite well. Yeah, really, really happy with that. Uh, let's give you a quick little little tour of my, my little setup here at um, Volara Station. The sun's going down, it's over in the, over in the back over there. But uh, yeah, this is a little setup here. I've got the truck there and the tent's all set up. Got my little cooking station and a little bonus fire pit. So yeah, really, really happy with that. And of course, the bush chooks. Um, yeah, great little spot. So I'm going to go and check out the damper that they do here uh, from five o'clock. I think it's already past five. Now. It's about up past five. The sun's definitely going down. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll go and do that. Go and check out the rest of rest of the place. And uh, yeah, so tonight it is definitely fish and chips, my sort of style. So yeah, if the fish is one of the larger trevally that I did catch and I thought you know what I'll cook him up anyway um, and uh, yeah we'll see how we go with that well I got the um, I got the fish on now and I've <laughs> got some a little bit of spuds on there and 
So I've put a little bit of beer batter on the on the fish. I'm gonna have to turn him over shortly. But uh, I reckon those two bits there are just perfect for me for tonight. Um, also got my chili damper. Well, chili damper, chili jam on the on the damper there. Goes all right. Oh, Whew. holy smoke! Oh, pack the punch. Oh, it's good stuff. Mate of mine made it this uh, smoked chili jam. And uh, just happens to live in Coal Bay, which is good. So I'll go down there tomorrow and get another jar. So looking forward to catching up with him, of course. Oh, just turn this fish over. Oh, look at that. Huh. I think I've butchered the skin, but... Ah, well. We'll get it all cooking up, eh? That one looks all right. All right, let's see how we go. there again so we can try and find this little little secret fishing spot that I've been told by some of the locals up in Exmouth. Um, I tend to tend to try and stick with the locals advice where I can because at the end of the day they live here or they've, you know, they've been here a lot, a lot more or a lot more often than what we have so yeah we'll try and wet a line and see if we can come out with a couple of fish that'd be nice that's uh, that little trevally that I had last night was absolutely fantastic he, uh, he gave me just enough for both sides of him, so two nice little fillets uh, with a bit of salad, which is perfect. Alright, let's go. beach and I didn't let my tire pressures down completely forgot rookie mistake so <laughs> I'm bold going going nowhere um, yeah yeah I feel a bit silly at the moment but hey that's why 
that's why I carry the gear that I carry. So I've got my Max Tracks there, I've got my shovel, I've got my tire deflator and I've got an air compressor. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my tire pressures down to about 16 psi, rock backwards and forwards a little bit, see how I go with that. Worst case scenario, Max Tracks and shovel come out. But have a look at this view. I mean, okay, apart from one bog Navara, have a look at this place. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, over there somewhere, over the horizon, you can sort of see, or maybe not with the camera, but over the distance, you can sort of see the tip of the Burrard Peninsula or the bottom edge of it. Um, and then sort of over behind the camera over there, work. Yeah, cool, no one wants to see that. So, yeah. I better chop to it and unbog this nav. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. There you go, just give her a bit of berries and <laughs> up and out she comes. 15 psi is what I went down to, just wanted to make sure that I was going to get out without having to get the max tracks out. And typically, well, if I'm going to get the max tracks out, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stuck. Anyway, time for a beer. <laughs> Dog Memorial. So I'm in Carrath at the moment. Just picked up. There's boiling hot coffee. It's pretty good. Um, slept out on the beach last night. Ugh, out at uh, 40 mile, which was good. Fair few midges and sand flies, but hey, you know, be able to camp on the beach just for one night. So yeah, we'll get out of here. We'll get out of Carrath,a and um, yeah, head up to Dampier. See the Red Dog Memorial and then head back into Karatha for a lunch. <laughs> <laughs> 